Today I'm going to show you how to take care of your centrifugal clutch. Take some snap ring pliers and remove the snap ring on the clutch. Oops. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get the snap ring off. Um, as you can see, this clutch has been through better days. The teeth are worn down it. Um, this edge of the bushing right here is kind of marred in, and the snap ring is kind of messed up. So, she's a little bit worn out, but it's still got some life in it. Okay, so from all the damage that this clutch has taken on this front piece that's sunk in there, it's very hard to get this outer drum off it. Okay, now that we got the drum apart, um, inside the clutch, what you want to do is you want to take some sandpaper and you want to sand these shoes uh, on the outside of the clutch. And you want to sand the inside of the drum. It'll get rid of all the grease and, and, and whatnot that's been built up in there. And it'll allow the clutch to slip less. So I'm going to sand the shoe real quick and then show you guys what it looks like afterwards. And that's what the shoes look like after you give them in a quick sand. So I'm going to take some paper towel. Um, I'm going to wipe down the shoes. Um, wipe down this surface right here. Um, and then sand the drum on the inside. And wipe down this bronze bushing in there. We'll get the oily uh, gunk build up in the inside of the drum. Um, if you look at this bushing, you can see there's quite a bit scoring on the bushing um, so that we have some lubrication damage from using that motor oil and using the wrong type of lubricant for it um, so there's gonna be a little bit more friction heat from that but we're making a big difference in getting rid of the soil and grease of the drum and allowing the friction material to contact the drum and slip less. Look at that right there. That is not supposed to be in your clutch at all. That is uh, not good for your clutch. Um, that's just going to cause excess slippage and way more heat than your clutch can handle. And after wiping out the inside of your clutch, go ahead and take your sandpipe, sandpaper and start sanding the inside of the drum. And here's what our clutch drone looks like now, so we should have a lot better engagement now. So, we're going to clean out the rest of that shit that's on the side of that clutch bushing, and then we're going to lubricate the bushing. Alright, so we have the bushing wiped out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this motor oil, and we're going to apply it to your finger, and then work it into the bushing. All you need is a little bit in there just to work it back and forth and you can take your finger and do it to the inside piece as well. Um, don't get too much oil into the clutch or the same thing is going to happen. Most of the oil and grime built a build up that happens inside the clutch is do from it the oil and do it flinging off the chain getting inside side of the clutch so uh, every now and then take your clutch apart and do this maintenance to it and you can make your clutch last a lot longer and as you can see the clutch is spinning a lot more free freely than it was before um, so we're going to have a better functioning clutch overall now, so let's go put the snap ring back on it. As you can see, that snap ring is kind of damaged. I don't have any other ones to replace it, unfortunately, but I think we're going to be okay. Okay, now we have the snap ring back on, so everything should be good for this clutch. Another tip to make your clutches last longer is make sure your sprockets are aligned perfectly and make sure you have the proper tension on it because a too loose a chain will cause your teeth 
on the clutch to wear more, your chain can start jumping teeth actually, um, the chain can pop off, um, and you don't want it too tight, because if you do that you're just uh, pretty much doing the same thing and uh, making the wear happen a lot faster. So you see at the end of the clutch we have a snap ring right here, and you don't need to take your clutch apart every time to oil that bushing in there. All you gotta do is after you're done riding, take some motor oil um, and put it behind that bushing right there. You can see the gap. Um, put it in there and the oil will work its way around into that bushing. And do it every time you ride, otherwise it's gonna dry out and then your clutch is gonna prematurely fail. Alright guys, so those are my tips and little tricks to maintain your clutch, make it work better, and make it last longer. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.